regarding testosterone in the brain, testosterone and depression is what's the mechanism of action? Because, you know, again, as scientists, as doctors, we always want to know, okay, yes, there is an effect, but how does it get there? So testosterone is well proven that it increases the release of serotonin in the brain. And we know serotonin, it is the, 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 the neurotransmitter that's more responsible for your mood. So the same way, instead of getting an SSRI, sometimes testosterone can increase the release of serotonin enough that it affects your mood. Second, we know it affects also dopamine. And dopamine is the pleasure reward neurotransmitter. So what a lot of my patients are telling me exactly, the guys with anhedonia decrease in pleasure, they will tell me that, you know, I'm starting to enjoy life again. A patient told me something I love. He said, once I went optimized on testosterone, it's like you, it, you put up the dimmer in my lights. You know, the dimmer, in, uh, you, you're in a room, it's like the room, you, the light was on, but the dimmer was low. The lights were kind of uh, um, low. You increase the dimmer. So you, everything seems brighter. Everything seems more enjoyable. When the patient told me that, I was like, yes, that's exactly it. And when I tell my patients that, they're like, yes, yes. I didn't know how to put it into words. That's kind of what I'm feeling. So to me, that's the dopamine. And the last uh, mechanism of action that to me is even more exciting they see that testosterone facilitates neuroplasticity. Neuroplasticity now is a big word, a buzzword that is being talked about into so many different things, including the psychedelic renaissance that's happening now in the medical world. I'm so excited about this. And one day I, we have to talk about this, but testosterone has been shown to increase and facilitate neuroplasticity. And neuroplasticity, what, what is it? It's new connections in your brain. So again, uh, guys who maybe were dealing with the short circuit in the brain and they had this, this um, um, what we call that um, um, uh, brain set that's going into a certain way, testosterone can kind of go around this. And that was proven by functional MRI, where you see that on testosterone, you see new areas of connectivity in the brain. How does it translate into newer behavioral changes there's a lot of questions about this still, but there's no questions that testosterone is a neurotransmitter that has a lot of neurobehavioral effects that can be followed also by functional MRI. So again, I love to test. Well, those are not available to clinicians. That's mostly on research um, papers that you can see this. But to me, it's really exciting that we have a mechanism of action for testosterone and its relief of depression. 